What does an INFJ female look like? Out of all of the 16 personality types in the MBTI system, INFJs are the rarest personality type. This personality type is often known as the advocate or the idealist. INFJ stands for introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging. INFJ females come with their own sets of strengths and weaknesses. Are you an INFJ and are you trying to learn more about yourself or are you trying to learn about another INFJ female that you know? Here are 10 signs of an INFJ, the rarest female personality type. Number one, INFJ women are often known as extroverted introverts. INFJs tend to be very introverted people who prefer to have only a few close friends and spend time by themselves to recharge. Since INFJ women are very introverted, it may be confusing as to why they are often considered extroverted introverts. INFJs get this nickname because they can be very talkative and enthusiastic when they are around someone they're comfortable with. They also can come across as extroverts when they are talking about something they're extremely passionate about. For example, if an INFJ woman is fighting for a cause they believe in, such as fighting to end climate change or animal abuse, they may seem extroverted. INFJs are also considered walking contradictions. INFJ women are exceedingly empathetic to others' emotions and needs, so they may deeply care about others while also wanting to keep to themselves. Number two, INFJ women are extremely intuitive. INFJ females are very intuitive and are often highly aware of what is going on around them. INFJs have the ability to read a person and understand more about them very quickly. INFJ women have strong insights about other people and situations. They may have a gut feeling about someone or something that they can't quite explain. Sometimes an INFJ woman may just know something without knowing why or how they know it. This tends to be a subconscious dominant function of an INFJ since their intuition is so strong. INFJs are highly sensitive and can easily pick up on others feelings body language tone of voice and facial expressions they can find the hidden meanings feelings and motives behind someone's behavior and mood the intuitive quality of an INFJ female makes them great therapists social workers and counselors number three INFJ females are exceptionally loyal. INFJ women tend to form deep connections with the people that they care about, and they don't care much about holding on to fake or superficial relationships and friendships. Since they care deeply about their small circle of friends, they are also exceptionally loyal. INFJs often go above and beyond for the people that they care about. INFJs are often described as being supportive and protective of their loved ones. Since INFJ women are so loyal, they expect their friends and partners to be trustworthy and loyal in return. Number four, INFJ women are tough to get to know. INFJ women are very private and reserved. INFJs don't open up to just anyone. They often keep their thoughts and feelings to themselves and only share them to the closest few people in their lives. This makes INFJ women very tough to get to know. INFJs often stay quiet in social settings and rarely talk about themselves. INFJs may come off as distant, shy, and reserved, but deep down they are deeply caring and highly sensitive. INFJ women tend to have a very rich inner life with lots of interests, hobbies, and passions, but they don't share much of this with the world. INFJs may feel misunderstood since other people have a hard time getting to know them on a deeper level. Once an INFJ has a deeper connection and feels close to a person, they will open up more and more and become more comfortable. Number five. INFJ females are deeply empathetic. INFJ women are deeply caring and very empathetic. They notice almost immediately when someone is upset or angry, and they easily absorb the emotions of others. INFJs are also often quiet cheerleaders to their friends and loved ones. They will be cheering on their loved ones and will be motivating people to be their best selves. INFJ women feel affected by the world around them and are attuned to the needs of others. INFJs always want to help others and actually may put aside their own needs for others that they think may need more help than them. Number six, INFJ women dislike conflict. Women who are INFJs dislike and even go to great measures to avoid conflict. INFJs enjoy being in peaceful environments and do not take criticism or conflict well. Environments with conflict and arguments are very stressful for an INFJ. They try their hardest to maintain group harmony at all times and are troubled when conflict arises. They may even worry about past conflicts and try to make sure that everyone that they care about is alright afterwards. Since INFJ women are highly sensitive and empathetic, they may empathize with everyone involved in the conflict. They may try to rush through conflict and not stand their ground, only to regret it later. Number 7. 
INFJ women are great listeners. Since INFJ women are deeply empathetic and intuitive, they often take on the role of being the listener or the counselor. People may vent and confide about their feelings to an INFJ. Since INFJs are more private than other personality types, they may automatically take on the role as the listener in a conversation. INFJs actually don't mind when people come to them to vent or ask for advice since they feel fulfilled by helping others and are able to see things from other people's perspectives. Since INFJs appreciate deep conversation, they listen and process everything that the other person is talking about rather than pretending to listen until it's their turn to speak. They pay close attention to both the small and large details when someone is talking to them or coming to them for advice. Number eight, INFJ females love an intellectual conversation. INFJ females don't engage much in small talk or superficial conversations, but prefer to have intellectual and philosophical talks. They have a desire to learn and make sense of things. INFJs are deep thinkers and have a rich inner world with lots of passions and knowledge. They tend to take an interest in the deeper meanings of the world and of other people. Once an INFJ gets to talking about something that they're passionate about, they can talk forever about the subject. Even though an INFJ may be shy or introverted, it sometimes takes figuring out the things that they truly care about to get them indulged in a conversation. Number nine, INFJ women stand by their views and principles. INFJ women are loyal, not only in relationships and friendships, but also with their views and principles. They have a lot of confidence in their convictions. INFJs tend to have their minds set on their beliefs and views, so much so that they may come off as stubborn and have a hard time agreeing to disagree. This is usually because they feel they have taken a lot of time and have done a lot of research to come to their conclusion. They may have already done deep dives on the topics or beliefs at hand. They tend to take a long time to make a decision and come to a verdict, so when they feel like their well thought out views are being challenged, they may not take it well. This doesn't mean that INFJs aren't open-minded, just that they follow through with their principles and don't let anybody get in the way of what they truly feel is right. Number 10. INFJ women may look intimidating on first impression. Since INFJs are always observing and calculating people and situations, they may come off as intimidating or intense when you first meet them. INFJs don't mean to intimidate people and may not realize that they are even coming off as intense. Since INFJs tend to not start conversation with others and may be even staring off into the distance, other people may think an INFJ is rude or distant. But INFJs may just be observing and processing information before coming to a conclusion about about their surroundings. Once people get to know an INFJ, they realize that they are warm and caring people. INFJ women are often overlooked and misunderstood. Since they tend to be quiet and reserved, some people may write them off immediately rather than giving them the chance to open up and show their authentic selves. INFJ females have a lot to offer, like loyalty, empathy, and an exceptional ability to be intuitive. If you get the chance to know a rare INFJ woman, you will realize just how great they are and how well they may fit into your life. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your INFJ friends or partner. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.